first new change is when you drag and drop a character, the box follows with you. The second thing is character catch-up gear. Everyone between level 10 and 60 can get this if you haven't logged into them in 60 days. You get new bags, new gear, and all your quest log is cleared. And you're teleported to your home city or Grimar or Stormwind. The bags are 22 slots if you haven't logged into them in 60 days. So you do like this. You press next and select and then press update. You can choose if you want to clear the quest log. Confirm. Then you just log into your character. You will get all your gear in your mailbox. The second thing is the Whelp Taker. When you add the Red Dragon, this guy will follow you and give you a quest. Just gonna take it. Go to the walking shore where the quest is located. You're gonna hand in the quest to this guy. You're gonna talk to this NPC. If one suspects great to see. Then hand in the quest. We safeguard the isles. Then you need to go back to Valdraken, take some more quests, and complete them. When you're done with these quests, there are 16 days of daily quests, and you can get 10 different pets. During the Time Rift events, you're able to earn 8 different achievements, 7 mounts, 14 weapons, and 4 pets, and some transmog too. And you can also earn 424 item level armor. Time Rift event will take about 15 to 20 minutes. There's a lot of players there, so it will be very easy to do. You can also get the new Sword Dormy reputation. The event is very simple. First, you got to kill a bunch of NPCs, and then you got to kill the final boss. Very easy because there are so many players here, so it will only take a couple of minutes, and you don't have to do that much. Time Rift will spawn every hour. There's also a new quest hub located here. You can get portals around the Dragon Isles. You need 23 renown with the Dragon Expedition to complete the quest line. I don't have 23 renown, so I can't show you. Next thing is, all the ally races are extremely easy to obtain now. Simply go to your embassy in your capital, right here for alliance. Then take the quest, click on the, all the banners, and uh, take another quest for, for which one you want to unlock. Let's say I want to unlock the Colterian, I take the Colterian quest, and then I can do the quest line. Before you needed uh, to get a bunch of reputations and do a bunch of quests. So now it's simply just to... The next thing is, riding is completely free for all the new characters. So you don't have to buy it anymore. You can simply get it when you level up. And you can also get a free mount. If you go to the barber with any of your warlock characters, you can now customize your pets. You need to unlock some of the customizations, but you can still customize colors and such. For the warlocks, their minions got about 40 different customization options. There are also new eye color customizations for the Magar orc. And also new customizations for the worgen. For the worgen, there are five different skin colors or fur colors. Hexdramets and Skullmans are also available to play and get the old transmog. I will make another video how to get them. These are some small quality of life changes. Dalaran and Garrison Hearthstone are now toys, so you can delete them from your inventory. You can also track uncollected transmog that you haven't get, gotten yet. True, so if I want to collect this item, I hold shift and click on it, and then it will come up here and see how you get it. You can see it right there. And you can do this on most transmogs. Just right click it and press stop tracking. You can also trade gold with characters from other realms. The UE trash drop from all the content will also have an increased drop chance if you're playing solo. There's also a sell all junk button in the game. So if you have a bunch of junk in your inventory, you can quickly sell it. And you don't need an add-on anymore. If you see on my character, the rest of the XP sign is also different from before. Instead of being over your level. And the buttons when you between cooldowns and when something is available, it's now upgraded. There's also option to replace the character frame with a class. So if you press escape, press options, press interface, and go down to display. This uh, new two new things, replace player frame with portraits. So if I click this uh, play right there, you will see it's a warrior instead of how they look. And you can do it with yourself too. So I think this is good for PvP. And there's also a new icon for important quests. It's like a pink purple triangle. With a quest marker in the middle. There's new options in the edit mode. So if you press escape, press edit mode, you can change the width and the height on the chat bar. So you can make it really big or really small. You can also change the vehicle seat menu, duration bars for stunts and such. Also option for archaeology bar. If you set an appearance you haven't collected, you'll automatically collect it. So if I sell these boots, I will get the transmog automatically so I don't have to wear them. It's a really good quality of life thing, and you don't miss transmogs. You can also do the LFR versions of the Shadowlands raids. If you go right here, talk to this NPC, and you can go to different parts of different raids. And you can queue in totally solo. The next thing is the Siege of Orgrimmar skip. If you go to the Siege of Orgrimmar raid in the Valley of the Eternal Blossom, right here, and the second you enter the raid, you go right here and press this one, and talk to the Storm will be automatically teleported to the final part of the raid, or the game will crash. Yeah, you get automatically teleported and you can kill Garrosh. Dawn of the Infinite Mega Dungeon.